we are delighted to have been nominated for this award. Uh, I think it reflects the fact that the local authority here in Stockton has got a long history of working with the voluntary and community sector. Uh, we recognise the real added value that's brought by the sector and as we face particularly challenging times, uh, the strength of those partnerships will, will be what get, get us all through. We've seen some real great local examples of where the, the sector have worked with local community and voluntary groups to really make an impact in our borough. We do have a small team that are working with local communities and working with the voluntary and community sector to make sure that they are involved in challenging us with what we're putting in place in terms of plans and strategies but also helping us to deliver them. The voluntary and community sector bring an enormous value to the work that we do. The relationship we have with Stockenborough Council makes my job um, a lot easier than it might be. They've co-funded um, CATUS for the next three years which is extraordinarily unusual at this time. Very, very few organisations can say we're going to be here for three years. They're very keen to come out to events with the sector they want to be with the sector and last year we had a, a summit where we had key commissioners and the sector coming together to discuss what are we going to do um, in this in this climate of cuts. What we see here in Stockton is a lot of passion and enthusiasm out there in local communities for actually wanting to make a real difference and what we are trying to do is actually collectively harness that. A measure of the effectiveness of the, those communications and those li that listening has been that um, the local authority have um, developed this pot, this investment fund for the sector. We've worked very closely with Catalyst and with other organisations to pull together a package of support for the whole of the voluntary and community sector. I think Stockton Council wanted to make sure that there was some stability in all this change for our sector. I think it's going to make the difference between some organisations closing their doors and surviving for the next couple of years. At a time when a lot of our communities are actually needing them even more than they did in the past.